How's you all? Welcome back to another brilliant chess puzzle. And I would like to apologize that I haven't posted in a while, and this is because I've been having a bit of a difficult time finding a good puzzle and thinking of new video ideas. And if you have any video ideas or puzzle suggestions, you can always leave them in the comment section below. And now let's get into the puzzle. First of all, black has a rook and two extra pawns for white's knight. But here white is actually winning, and the only way to do so is with the move rook to h8 check. And you might think this is quite obvious, because after the king goes to e7, white will just capture the queen. But this is not the correct move, because after knight xd8, one of white's knights is going to be captured. And in this position, black has two rooks and two pawns for white's queen. And theoretically, this is a draw, and if black can get his pieces into a tight fortress, it might even be winning. So in this position, white must not take the queen, and instead throwing the check, knight takes c6, forking. And this move will play a huge role in the later mates, but for now, the best move for black is the move king f6. And once again, this puzzle has multiple lines where the king can also go to d6, which I won't cover, but you can look up this line in your spare time, either on the chess.com analysis or the Luchess analysis. But here you might think the best move is to capture the queen with the knight. But believe it or not, this is actually losing after the move rook takes d1, which actually threatens a mate on h1. And the engine thinks the best move for white is to just give up the queen and enter a position where black has a rook and two extra pawns for a knight, which is obviously completely winning. And although white can take the queen with the rook, this is winning for white, but at the end of the day, black will have uh, two, a rook and a knight and a pawn for a queen. And although mathematically the material is equal, white might have a little bit of a hard time winning this game. And yes, this is winning, but white has a much more brilliant and cleaner way to win in this position. And that is the move rook to g8. And the purpose of this move is that if black makes a random move, for example, queen to c7, then white will play the brilliant sacrifice rook to g6, and the king can't take because of the queen and the king, so the pawn has to take, and now white will play the move queen takes g6, which is actually mate. And this knight proved to be useful covering the e7 square, and in this position, if the queen took the rook, there is a brilliant sequence of forced checks which will eventually lead to a mate in 9 moves. And the move that allows this variation to happen starts with the brilliant move queen to f5. And this forces the king to capture the queen. And now white will play another brilliant move, knight to e7, sacrificing this knight, which pretty much forces the rook to capture. Because if the king goes back to f6, white will capture the queen. And after the king is forced up, White will bring the knight up, and this is a mate. So here the best move is to capture the knight with the rook. And in about a minute, you'll see the true power of this knight, because it will actually capture all of these pieces, which is together 19 points of material. And White will do so starting with the fork knight e3, forcing the king back, capturing the rook on d5, forcing the king up, Capturing the rook on e7, forcing the king back, capturing the queen, forcing the king up, going back to e7, forcing the king back once again, returning all the way back to d5, forcing the king back, and finally the move g4 with the pawn, an epic pawn checkmate where all these spaces are blocked and the pawn is also covered by this pawn. If you like this puzzle, please give it a thumbs up as well as to subscribe and comment and of course share this video. And I'll see you all in my next video. Goodbye.